Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, where in this episode we are finally starting in our house. It's been a while since we started the episode here, but um, we're back now and we're going to leave again. <laughs> because in this episode we're going to check out the mine shaft that we found um, at the village with the desert temple in it. But before we do that, I got some preparation to do. First, eat a big potato. Second, go to the enchantment table and enchant a new sword, new pickaxe and a new axe. We are going to use the axe and we're going to use the pickaxe as well. And I will just check one second. Okay, thought I heard something. Um, yes, I did hear something. All right, I did hear something. Um, it's night outside. Um, yes, I got these spare iron pickaxes, but I'm going to take two or something extra with me, in fact because I will be needing them if there are plenty of ores down there, which I'm hoping. Um, so let's do this. So there we go. Oh, there we go. All right, got it. And um, yeah, as you can see in my inventory, I got plenty of food, bread and baked potatoes. I got two seals because this one is about to break. Um, I got 64 coal, I got plenty of wood and I got some terracotta only because I don't have any more cobblestone. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And also, of course, I have my compass here just in case I get lost for some weird reason. Um, yes, so let's see what enchantments we get. Uh, knockback and sharpness. I'm going to take the knockback. Okay. Well, it's good for when when for when I'm um, fighting creepers anyway. So let's take that one. Unbreaking is very nice. And the X efficiency, efficiency. Um, I'm going to take the lower ones just because... I could enchant other ones too, should I? Hopefully we'll find more um Lapis Lazuli. Alright, there we go. That should do. Um I'll bring the other sword just because they break really fast. I'm down to only eight Lapis Lazuli, but hopefully we will find some more. Um Oh, it's not night time outside. I guess they might be hiding in a under a tree or something. Let's go take a look actually. Let me just put that there. Oh, there's a skeleton up there. And some skeleton bones on the ground. Hopefully there's no creepers about. And my armor is doing okay. It's going to be needing some replacement very soon. But we should be alright to go down there. There we go. Don't want to risk anything near my farm. And also my birch trees have grown. And also we do want to expand our farm with the potatoes and stuff we found from the villagers. Now, speaking of the villagers, um, two things actually. The one thing is, when we went over there, there's a village right there, we missed something, or maybe you didn't, but I missed something that was right to the right of me when I walked over there. And I didn't see it until recently, going back from one of my previous episodes, alright, just checking, um, where I saw something, saw something in the ground, and then after that I saw something huge in this mountain. And you will see it momentarily. Let me just eat a big potato real quick. Here we go. So let me just get past this water here. And um, past this, pick up some sticks here and there. Okay, can you see something weird about this picture? If you said the village has fence, no, that's not it. <laughs> if you set all the weird sand to the right, that is correct. And if you look even further to the right, you were right. There is a mine shaft right inside this very mountain. And also some weird terrain st stuff happened because look at the sand here. It's like, well, mine shaft, well, on the, on the surface. The even more crazy thing is that there are two of those treasure chests that you can find in mine shafts here on the surface. Now, I must say this. I was trying to make an episode of this a few days back and I went in there and it was complete, complete chaos in here. Um, it was very, you easily got turned around. There were many like turnings and stuff and I actually almost became sick because of all the turnings and stuff like that in here. Um, so I'm not going to go in here this episode, maybe some other time. 
there's a zombie down there. Um, but I do know that there are more than one of these cave spider spawners in here, which we will be using in the future. I know that much. Um, and there's a zombie right here. So let me just um, get rid of him. But yes, I just wanted to show it so you know it. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Can he? Uh, okay. Yep, let's just uh, let's just go. Um, so as I said, there are two of these treasure chests and you know what? We might as well loot them. So let's take a look. All right. It's yes. Perfect. Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. More coal and 16 rail and some iron and a name tag, which is really good because you cannot create name tags. That's really good. Um, now, because I was making an episode previous to this a few days ago, I did loot these, so I kind of know what's in them. Now I just have to find another one. But um, basically, I take a backup of the world right before I um, start recording, just in case something weird happens. And um, now I cannot find where I'm supposed to go. I know there's another one around here somewhere. Um, but yes, and then I just decided it didn't turn out very well, and so I was, you know what, let's let's start over and actually go to the mine shaft at the desert temple. So that's what we're going to do, and that is right there. We will maybe at some point re research or adventure through this. This is just a dead end. But let's see. Yes, perfect. More torches, way more torches. I need those. We got redstone, we got more coal, which will be needed as well. We got some rail and also another name tag which is perfect. So that was exactly what I wanted. Some um, Levis Lazuli and stuff. So that was really good. And the most weird thing or the funniest thing about this was that I walked right past it without even noticing, not even in the mountain. And I went past this village more than once just to get to my, um, my home and also the swamp. And I have never noticed that at all, which is pretty funny. But with that said, I'm now going to head over to the village with the Desert Temple. I'm going to put this stuff in my um, base of operations over there, which is the house I used for when I created the huge giant um, wall. So um, yeah, so we can get some more inventory space and I'll be right back. So stay tuned. And just while I make my way over there, I just want to say that um, from what I've seen, Minecraft 1.13 should be released at the 18th of July, which is six days from when I'm recording this now. So that's in six days. So the next episode you see could very well be in the Minecraft 1.13 update, which is going to be amazing. So many new changes have happened to the update, which I'm really excited about. So um, yeah, especially because we have an ocean right next door, um, which is the main reason why I didn't really continue because I knew this ocean right here actually, that um, 1.13 would be coming shortly. So I wouldn't want to take up too much of the ocean that we actually have right next door. I wanted it to be generated with the 1.13 code so we could also get all the cool features and stuff in there. Um, so I just wanted to say that, that the next episode you see could very well be in the 1.13 update if the world can take the update that is and not crash, which I definitely hope not, but um, it shouldn't. I don't think it should. So with all that said, we are now here at the Tessa Temple and um, the sun is now going down. I'm pretty sure I have a bed in there. So right after I have em emptied my inventory, I can go right ahead and um, yeah, go uh, to bed and get to the mine shaft. Hello, fellas, I'm back. Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello. Ah, you're staying. And it's not nice to stand on other people's beds. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, I still have some stuff in here. Let me just... I think this 64 coal should be enough, so I'll just put all this stuff in here. And I'll be right back once it's night time and I have slept. And then um, we'll find the mine shaft. It should be around here somewhere. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, it's now daytime. As you can see, I've just slept. Walked out of my, um, my house there. And I now have to find where I saw the mine shaft. It was not here. It was, I think it was... Right here. There it is. We are going in. This is going to be interesting to see what's down here. Um, yeah, I should have 
brought some sand, but I guess it's fine. All right. Okay, first off, let's just check this area here. Um, okay, very dark and spooky. It's fine though, I think. I think it's fine. Let's just grab that iron. I could use some more iron because I am going to... I do want to um, make an anvil or something pretty soon because I want to do some more stuff like that. So um, yeah, I think everything seems clear. All right, it's a dead end here, so that's good. All right. That isn't though. That is a dead end. Okay. Okay, let's see. Just want to make sure that this area is clear of spooky thingies. All right. Okay, there's another pathway there, here and here as well. And I see some light over there. All right. This place should be safe. This is not safe though, so I'm just going to block that up. All right. So this is the way back up. So I'm going to mark that like that, and I'm just going to make sure that I can actually get back up, um, since that is pretty important to be able to do so. So let's just put that, going to make a little staircase up, just like this, and like that, and then place that here, and um, I guess remove the sand, all right. So we can now get up here. I'm going to save the cobblestone because I almost have None. I think I have 10 in my house or something, which is not perfect. All right, we're down here in a mine shaft. So what I usually do is to um, go ahead and place torches. Then I usually remove... Hold up. We might have a skeleton spawner, seems like. It almost sounds like it. All right. But yes, what I would usually do is to go down, light it all up, don't touch any of the ores just yet. Then I would remove all the rails and all the wood because I can use the wood and fence myself, especially for the farm. And um, and when I have like a clear area, then I would then go ahead and, well, mine the ores. All right, skeleton cleared. And you have to be careful of things like that because that can be very, well, dangerous. <laughs> so, well, okay, looks like we might have some more stuff up there, but I'm going to stick to the mine shaft for now. All right, so this is where we were on the other side. I don't care much about the torch place. Okay, that's a witch. Let's just block that off for now. Um, yeah, I don't care much about the torch placement because I can usually find my my ways around, but also sometimes not. So it's a good idea to do it. Just I don't. Whoa, that's a lot of. That's an Enderman. Don't want to get him angry down here. I say that and I almost look at him. Oh, I looked at him. This is the first time I've gotten an Enderman angry. All right. He's right somewhere. I don't know where he is though. Let's just do that. All right. I think he's at the other side of this wall, to be honest. This cave is huge. Okay, just do that. He's above me or something. Yeah, he's probably going to come teleporting to me or something pretty soon. Knowing Enderman. Yeah, he's above me, definitely. Should I make a hole for him? He's not up there. He's on the other side of the wall or something. Trust me. No. Okay, there's nothing there. Then he's below me, most likely. Oh, I see a creeper. And a... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is bad. You don't want that to happen. Where we get, like, stuck. All right, I want the creeper dead. All right. Got him. And you're dead. All right, good. Yeah, these things can be very dangerous to explore. So take your precautions. All right. Whoa. Wow. It just killed a um, 
a bet. Okay, we got some more mineshaft here. This is where it can get very dangerous and also very confusing because like all these intersections. So I'm going to take it easy here. All right, nothing here. So this is a perfect area to just mine this out right here. So then I know, okay, I've been down this way. I know where I've been. All right, so equip that again. Dig through this gravel. Where is he? Oh, there. Hello. Okay, he just teleported away. If you hit them at the legs, then, um... Okay, yeah, he's definitely still angry. Then they won't, like, um, teleport away. Like I did there, and now he's teleported away somewhere. Oh, he's above me. There we go. I hit him at the legs. Hello. I don't know if he's still angry at me or not. Let's just block that off. And we got some... He has a gravel block. You know what? You're very annoying. Okay, he did not even get angry there. That was very weird. All right, so we got an end of well, not bad. We we will need some of those. All right, so this area is cleared. Then we have an intersection here going that way and that way. So this looks like a dead end, so I'm just going to go down here real quick. Yes, it's a dead end. All right, then I'm going to go back to the intersection. Here's another intersection, and this is just a dead end. And then down here, it leads down, 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 down. Um, if I just do this, like here. And then see what's at the bottom. What Y level are we at? We are at 40. I think we need to be at 20 or something for diamonds to spawn. So we are not yet there. Now these like mine shafts can reach down a lot. Like they can spread out far, really far. Um, all right, I might go down there later. Don't want to wait for that lava to finish up. All right, um, this looks okay secure for now lit up and everything so what i would do here is just take this iron while i'm talking is to remove all the wood which is the primary re reason of me taking a new axe with me well, both because i needed any one but also because i knew i would be needing it for the wood so i wouldn't take out like the base here which i'm walking on because I kind of need that <laughs> to walk on. So I would take out these like wooden pillars and the like the support here I would take out and then I mean all, all this fence anyway I need so I could use. So take out that and make this like clean. Make it look clean. So make it this 3x3 three three area and tunnels which it's going to look way smoother, and I should have—I knew I should have brought a—I um, knew I should have brought an, brought a a shovel. I hate mining gravel like this. It's so annoying. So I'll just remove this. I mean, you can leave those if you don't need the wood, just to make it look cool. But I'm just looting it because I—I I could use the wood and stuff, so I might as well take it. Well. We got a creeper. Hi yo. He's not going to do anything, I see. There we go. And one more hit. There we go. Finished. There we go. I could use some more coal to be fair. I do need more coal for my furnaces, so I'm actually going to take the efficiency pickaxe up just to get it done that much faster. Um so I don't know how much of this I will be able to record in one episode. It's already pretty lengthy now. And these are usually don't cut a lot out. So it could end up being one of those 30 minutes episode. But I hope it's okay. Maybe. Alright, so we got some more iron over here. Which I actually want. Whoa, this cave is amazing. Alright, I mainly want the iron and a little bit, a little bit of coal as well, if I can get it. So place this, take the iron. How much iron do we have by now? We haven't done a 
lot of mining, but we also almost have like half a stack, which is actually not bad. So here we go. And yes, this is, well, basically what I would do with like one mine shaft. So this was one shaft, then I would go down here, get the string in case I need it for something, get the ores and um, yeah, move on to the next ones. So I'm just going to do this here and then, um, yeah, I'll be, oh, sorry, bad. I'll be right back. So stay tuned. All right, so I went ahead and took all the wooden fence and also the oak wood planks, um, except for the floor flooring, of course. And I went ahead and, well, I missed some. And I went ahead and took all the ores. Now, if we just go down here, leave the spider alone, it's friendly. Um, and we go down here, that creeper, creeper wasn't there a second ago. I'm going to take my knockback salt for this. There we go. See how much knocked back it gets? That's amazing. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm breaking out. All right. As you can see here, there are some other ores, well, ores outside the mine shaft as well. And because these mine shafts like go on like this straight, oh, there we go. We are back to where we've seen a ravine. Yes, lapis lazuli. And there you can see the mine shaft. As I was saying, or going to say, the mine shaft because they go like this, they go really far. They can like cut through so many caves and also like yeah, so many caves and ravines and stuff like that. And apparently there are. Um, if I just go down here, if we take a look, there's some gold right there, but if we take a look, we can see that it cuts through right there, which means there must be a lower level to the, um, to the mine shaft, which we definitely want to find because I definitely want to get down there. We are currently at Y level 30, let's see, let's do some math, um, 37, if we get down there, we're probably at 25 or 27 or so. Which um, which probably means diamonds. I'm not 100% sure, but as you saw, redstone and um, and also whoa, that scared me. <laughs> he came right out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Um, yes, as you saw, lapis lazuli and also um, redstone. And I think where redstone spawns, diamonds can spawn. So we will definitely have to take a look at that. Um, so yeah, that is the thing we have to do for sure. It's just like this up as well. Um, I didn't really want to do caving, but I mean, it's right next doors, so I might as well see what it has to offer. Plenty of coal if I need it. I'm not going to take it right now because it's really time consuming. But um, yeah, should we go check? Yes, one of the last things here, go and check what's down below at this, um, this hole that the lava blocked. So let's see. Let's see what's down here. Um, some light and a bunch of iron. You know what? I can't resist iron. I need iron. <laughs> I need iron and also maybe this leads down to the ravine. I think this actually leads down to the ravine. I think so. I'm pretty certain. I see some gold, I think. Yep, I see some gold there. Um, no, this is not the ravine. It is another ravine, which is amazing. So here the mine shaft has led us to two different ravines, which is pretty amazing. What Y level are we at? 24. Redstone should be able to spawn here, I think. Eh. Well, that was pretty well saved if I'm, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, not something very interesting here. Some gold though. Should I take the gold? I'll take the gold. I want to make a, make a watch at some point. So with all the redstone and gold that I have, I can't say no. I get also I get all, a lot of gold from the mesa biome because it spawns so high up, which is pretty cool actually. If if you're playing like those um, ultra hardcore games where a bunch of people spawn in a in a game and natural healing is turned off and you need those golden apples, spawning at a mesa biome could really give you the upper hand, which is um, pretty cool. So. Yeah, <laughs> but in normal survival, I don't really see the usage of gold that well. Like other than golden apples for when fighting the wither bars and maybe also the, sorry if you can't see anything. Lapis is really perfect. Yes, it was worth getting down here. 
Um, but yeah, making the watch, making golden apples for like fighting the wither boss maybe. And yeah, I don't know, maybe the ender dragon as well. But that's pretty much it. And is this an intersection of ravines? I think it is. Oh, die. It is. Now this might very well lead us to the other ravine. I know we're off track here. We're not at all close to the... Well, we are close, but not that close to the um to the actual mine shaft itself but i just want to see is this the no this is not the ravine i don't think but you know what there's plenty of iron here we might as well grab it all right um yeah i'm i'm not going to explore all of this i'm just taking what i can quickly get my hands on like this here here we go because i want the iron i i need the iron <laughs> basically to make more stuff, so I'm very sorry if you cannot see anything, but I do kind of want to preserve my torches because they get used up really fast. Here we go, get this. Oh, redstone, I completely missed that. Let's get it. Let's get it. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it an episode right here, just because we've been doing a lot of stuff down here at the mine shaft. but this is only part one. I will make a part two with the mine shaft, I think, just because we have barely touched it I'm pretty sure um, okay so that's the one we came from let's just have a quick sneak peek at this one over here all right you know what I'm not going down in that let's not go that route um, route let's see anything here nah not not really whoa okay I'm out <laughs> I'm out let's go let's go back to the um, should we go back to the village I guess I should, and then empty my inventory out. Oh, missed some iron. Now oh, I'm happy I fell. Uh, okay. Thought I missed some more stuff. Um, came from this. Yep, I did indeed. Get up here. Get right around the corner. Yeah, I'll go back to the village, but I'm going to end the episode right here, I think. Just because we have, again, we've barely touched it, and I will make a part two of the mine shaft so we'll continue with that in the next episode but with that said i hope you enjoyed and if you did remember to leave a like comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe as well also enable notifications if you want to get notified when i live stream and also upload new videos by the way should i do a live stream in this world where i go ahead and Okay, that was almost creepy. Um, where I go ahead and fix up the villages, like make them look nice, um, f light up the houses and make sure they can get to the houses properly and stuff. Let me know what you think about that if you have any thoughts. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. So, have a nice day. Hold up. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, my God.